Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, Losers Bracket Round 4. We've got KFOG versus Wolfpack, and in comes we've got the man, the myth, the legend, the winner 3-5, Skuro Metsu! Hello. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. We are, we, are, we are knee deep in losers today. But don't call them that because these two guys still have a shot to win it all. It's KFO gets Wolf Mark two multi-time champions of all sorts of stuff, I'm sure. Chorus versus Pro Elves, a battle for the ages. And no, don't adjust your sets. They didn't add Chorus to Blood Bowl 3's beta and also fix all of the graphics to it. This is Blood Bowl 2 action. This is the Blitz Pit. And let's get going. Yeah, and incredibly, this is Tri versus Dion Lord, which is a rematch of their first yeah. round match, and Wolfbark versus Kefog, which was their first round match. So there you go, that's wild, isn't it? Absolutely. Also, speaking of wild, I gotta let a dog in. Glorious. Yeah, so the first the first time they met, Wolfbark did remove lots of elves, but Kefog it was able to win in a in a in a stellar stellar performance. <laughs> <laughs> I already can't remember it, <laughs> but something happened. Um, I oh, did he two turn or something? Yeah, I think he maybe did two turn. Yeah, revenge game is incredible, incredible stuff. <laughs> Try was saying Oof. in SFL Discord that he did not want to face the orcs again, but um, he doesn't get that choice. Always tricky, aren't they, Orcs? Like, they're, they're not really busted. Like, they can't do anything amazing like all of the other teams. But they're solid, aren't they? And then you're never really happy about facing them. No one ever thinks it's an easy game, even though it kind of technically often is. <laughs> <laughs> technically. <laughs> like, they, they just don't win that much at uh, NAF level. And obviously, this is a bit higher than NAF level. But still, it's mostly NAF style, isn't it, this? Yeah. Yeah, so we got a perfect defense which limited the hits and then a reroll using a dub skull. So yeah, Wolfbark very deep very deep as well. Will Kfog push to molest his backfield? Instantly blitzing a hobble here. <laughs> it looks like he is gonna uh put some threats back there but not go full tilt into the backfield. I do like how he's doing it, though. Yeah, he's going to blitz this hobo. Yeah. But uh, I do like how he's doing it where the threats are so wide on either side that if you really want to account for all of them as the chorves, you're kind of spread out way too thin. Yeah. I wonder if this guy should have not been there, but like here. Because as it is, he's in range of this mighty blow. And after this yeah. guy's block um, was instrumental in KFOG winning the first time, I, and he did apple this character when he got KO'd. I wonder if this is going to dictate the mighty blow blitz, you know, without having to GFI. I think that's maybe a mistake. No marginal. But... Interesting. How, how how did their first game go down? I know obviously K Pope won it, but. Yeah, um, I think it was like a 2 1. Uh, it was a, basically essentially a 2 1 grind, right? Um, K Fog stalled out his half. Wolfbark scored with a couple of turns left, and then K Fog scored the two turn. I believe. It could have gone to overtime, mm. I can't remember. But uh, if it went to overtime, then KFOG won the toss and quick scored. But it was like it was definitely a quick score by KFOG. Oh yeah, it was a, it was it was a, it was overtime, I believe, and there was a there was a pitch invasion that just completely wiped out like half the field and KFOG just ran up almost. Oh unquote. Jesus. Yeah, fair enough. Well, because of that deep kick, Kefa, or excuse me, Wolf is going to be under a lot of pressure. This is looking a lot. This is looking a lot like the last game we just called, in <laughs> terms of that ball might get stuck down there if Kefa really wants to. Uh... Ooh, I like that though. The the, the offensive elf columns. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. keep that pressure away from uh, this half of the of, of the pitch. Yeah, I like that too. Very safe, but the problem is now, of course, he's going to struggle to advance because he's going to take until turn three to get the halfway line. And then now Kefo can set up his yep. own elf columns, and Wolfbark's going to have to try and, and break <laughs> these elf columns. 
Yeah, to, dueling to elf cold. columns. You don't see that often. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, the wrestle blade so that he doesn't get stuck on him. <laughs> yeah, the bullies. I mean, it's tickling diodes. It's either or, lemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been both. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like this is the thing, and now it's now it's like, how the fuck do you get forward? <laughs> this guy's isolated. I think you just gotta. Ba I think, I think you just base them up, right? As the chores, base them up Stop. and say, I can take these hits better than you can. Keep the ball protected and then see if the elves fail something. It's fucking horrible, isn't it? It's gonna be hard for him to uh Yeah to do it. A removal on a blitz here though might change that. Might. So yeah, going central. Yep. Trying to get this guy back in the game. Not even a break. Hello, Flicky Black. Hello. Flicky, Flicky, Flicky. Flicky, Flicky, Flicky. <laughs> and a random beef jerky. I've got no idea where that came from, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that too. And Vari Nidvlir. It's a good name. Mm. I don't know if it's in reference to something, but it's a good name. Yep. Let's hope it's not like a mass murder or something. <laughs> no, Nidavlir's a... It's a... Uh, is it Norse? It's something. It's something to do with Norse mythology, which I guess could be a white supremacist thing. <laughs> Though they, they've kind of co-opted a lot of that bullshit, unfortunately. Oh, dear. I hate all that shit. You can't like anything without it fucking meaning something. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. Well, I mean, you can. You, you, you can. It's just and like I will defend. you know. I will defend. You gotta. You, you gotta be. A, you gotta be a little bit aware of that, especially in terms of symbols. You know, uses of symbols when they get co-opted. <laughs> What message are you sending, you know? <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, and there it is. Chorf down. Yeah. Outbashed yeah. by elves. Yeah. GG. And yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it is. There's no, you know, you don't need guys over here when you've got all of his men there. You just want to occupy the center and make sure he can't go through the middle. And again, he's, he's getting that was a. Hits, isn't he? That was a successful badly hurt apo, right? Um, I believe I mean, all it was. Badly hurt apo. I yeah. believe it was. And in the midst of all that, I believe Lean Gary was staying fantastic there, but I've got to open my... Uh, yes, he my was. 30 months. Glorious. Thank you very much. For staying fantastic for seven and a half whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. I'm manufacturing another hit here, but he's going to stay based with that bull. He only gets a push for his trouble. Yeah, that's not that scary, though, is he? That character does have dodge. Yeah. So, goes for the one D. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth it on a on a hob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Northrike. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to my world. I've got awesome. I've got awesome. Uh, awesome emotes, and I can't use any of them. <laughs> well, I can use one of them, I guess, but. Glorious. Glorious cabbage head mod. You've got you've got a good you've got one here though as well. You've got an extra one here, haven't you, Scuro? Which is pretty good. Oh yes, I have Jim Mezzo, yep. Yeah. Well that's dodge, where all the followers are, throw <laughs> If you blitz the dodge guard dude, then um, he's got sidestep, so it's a bit tricky, isn't it? It's a bit tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. 
Doesn't work yeah, it's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, which is funny because the swastika was originally like a Buddhist symbol, wasn't it? Yeah, like you nice. still see it used in Buddhism in parts of Southeast Asia or whatever. <laughs> it's a, a little scary when it catches you off guard if you don't know that. <laughs> oh, that's bizarre. Throw like I had, no, I had zero problems. That was the one thing about Blood Bowl Three that I had zero problems with. <laughs> oh weird. I didn't even try. Oh I throw like I bet I bet what it is is that the default um the default graphic settings for Blood Bowl 3, I believe, are full screen windowed mode, not full screen mode. And your game mode in OBS is probably set to uh, a full screen um game. So it's seeing windows but it's not seeing an actual game in full screen mode. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, throw it. I noticed that when I was checking the graphic settings in Blood Bowl 3 that it... Because uh, I usually play in just straight-up full-screen mode. Because I was wondering if that was the problem Jim was having with his audio muting out, too, because I couldn't test that on my end. But I think... Maybe because it was in window mode instead of full screen mode that the music was turning itself off when he would tab out. Yeah, no, it wasn't that, but I didn't so. test it. I tried yeah. it on all It might three. just be... Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. God. Oh my god! Dirty PTK. Dog. What a dirty dingo. Yeah, that's really lucky, isn't it? But, you know, again, he did, he has got to make a lot of blocks, hasn't he? Because because Wolf has been having to base him to try and get forward, as you said. You know, like that. that's like kind of what you've got to do, and... Unfortunately, if you give away a lot of blocks, yeah. people get knocked over, and then yep, they'll, yep. They'll get you're gonna roll a few tens and tens and elevens. Yep. Wow. And, uh, I, do you know what I would have quite liked moving this guy to here because then if you blitz him to surf him, he's not he's not progressing forward. Maybe that would have been an idea. Because as it is now, this is quite a nice blitz for uh, Wolf Park, isn't it, to get forward here? Yeah. Ooh, not if he not if he wrestles. Yep, puts in the reroll. Yep. Yeah, That's I, I did there. like I did like that dodge there. Wow, Apple. Comes he, in yeah, team man, we are we are. Was it now? We're we're doing this again in the losers bracket. No. Oh, did you get you got stuck with a drunk elf yesterday? Good lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drunk help turned up. It was quite fun. Um, you and I have different definitions of fun. <laughs> no, it was quite fun. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, we did do this game yesterday. Yeah, maybe it would have been an idea to do a different one, but it's okay. <laughs> I should have maybe asked um, Gadena to do the other one, but I didn't. I just, which one are we doing? Fair enough. And then realized this was one of the games and was like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Yeah, fair. Nope, there you go, there's a removal. I, I assume Blitz. Blitz Pit is probably covering Tri's game, I assume. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah, so he wants to move him first, then he can yep. do the GFIs. Yeah, that was why I really like getting this guy open. Okay, he gets surfed. But he does eat the blitz and he doesn't he doesn't do this. Wonder if wonder if PTK considered it or not. Like PTK does make mistakes, it's not as if it's not as if everything he does is better than mere mortals, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, amazing. that was jarring. Crucifer is streaming Blood Bowl three, but I, I thought he was also streaming Blitz Pit, so I clicked <laughs> to see what it was. B Blood Bowl three is quintessentially the opposite of, Bl of Blitz Pit. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Might end up being the death of the competition. Yeah, yeah at the moment. The word is right now, 
it's horrible. Pretty like, it's, unplayable. It's yeah. Just horrible. But it's also just unplayable by from a speed perspective, like Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? God, dude, it's so horrible. Just looking at it now, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, like I said, I only played half a game of it before it dumped me out, and I haven't gone. I, I do want to play another game just to give it another whirl, but I have just had no, no interest. Like, as much as I'm willing to be an optimist, I just nothing has been like, give it another shot. Ooh, nice little dodge through there. Yeah. Did he run out of time there? It was just the end of the turn. Oh, I'll, I'll be honest, I was looking at Christopher's Blood Bowl 3 stream. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're going off of our current information, some guy, it will look like shit and it will run poorly. <laughs> it's the side step that doesn't get the knockdown. That is the problem against these assholes. Blood step guarders. If you don't get the pals, you're in trouble. It's the power there, foot so no surf with the gotcha. This was quite nice, wasn't it, from uh, K-Frog, he got a bunch of guys back around the ball. It's looking tricky for, uh, I mean, he is down players, to be fair, isn't he? You, know, you don't want to be down players versus elves. So it's, nope. tr it's very tricky for a uh, wolf to do much here. Very tricky. Is there a reasonable way out of this without a 3-plus dodge, I wonder? I don't think there's any way out. Oh, is he going to surf? If he surfs, he can't really protect the ball next turn. <laughs> no, he can surf, then just dodge and score. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Three turns good. for K Fog to score with pro elves, though. No, but it's I mean, not. He, he is, his one turn shot's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. No, I mean, I agree. It's pretty rough, no matter what you, what you're looking at. Here. That's the thing. The problem is, it's that or just get turned over and dunked on, isn't it? Like, it, it, how does he protect yeah. the ball and everything? He might be better off. He might be. Ooh, I wouldn't have followed there because if you fail that dodge, your bull's getting. Sick. Oh, he's handing off. Oh, turn. interesting. Oh, okay. That's one of those lose the game, maybe not lose the game kind of. Well, that was a poor statement, but. We <laughs> 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 just lost there if that hadn't gone right, but it could have saved him. Yeah, but he is getting his bull centaur surfed. Yes, which, he is. <laughs> which is yeah. not what you want. Um, when you're playing games of Blood Bowl. Can you surf the ball here? No, I guess you can't. No, it's not easy. I mean, you can surf the ball, but you've got to dodge it. Yeah, yeah I was thinking you could push that other bull up, but you can't. Oh! Yep, he really <laughs> going for the going yeah, for the got, serve. And he's got his last reroll oh, for he's the one turn as needed. Oh, <laughs> which one was that? Which one was cast? The, the ball. The ball, the ball yeah. was cast. Yeah. And now he's got blood step on the ball. And well, this is as as bad and out bashed by elves as you can imagine at this point. <laughs> yep, yep. This is a problem. I think going for the score was better because that's the thing. Your alternative is you just lose. <laughs> you know, you can just you can just be one nil down, isn't it? There's a there's a good chance of that. I don't like that by PTK. I, th I quite like just leaving these guys occupied, right? And then you dodge him out and tag him, and then all of his tacklers are occupied. <laughs> I don't like just freeing up the tackle to hit. 
Christ. <laughs> Especially as this, he's not doing oh. anything here. He can power and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Sorry, I just had a, a senior moment there as a 40-year-old man. I, I, I saw my dog knocking the window, so I got up to let him in, but they're both inside. So there's either a coyote in my <laughs> fucking with me, or I'm seeing things now. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, powered anyway, but still. Yeah, just get the power and it's no problem. Oh, okay, because of that sidestep square. All right, all right. So, mm -hmm. he was he was he was banking on the uh, not getting his armor broken and sidestepping to there when he got powered. So now this guy being there does matter because otherwise you could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and not scored. So no, still, it still doesn't do anything. No. Nope. No, this guy's not doing a lot. So Wolfbark, does he just pull back now and... He's getting nil-nil. He's got about three seconds to figure it out. It's pretty hard, you know, with, with dwarves in one minute turns to, like, have a successful drive. Like, as, as much as, like... You know, people yeah. think they're simplistic, and it's it's kind of easy. It's it's really not that easy versus someone who's good at blood ball trying to get in your way and stop you scoring. <laughs> sure. Oh, of course, getting a lot of action in on these left. Oh, this could be another great risky play here. Doesn't get it. Oh, a pretty good scatter spot. I'm sure. K-Fog's going to go for the scatter here. Of course, yeah, of course. Can he get a scoring threat in himself, though? Only Does he have one down there? No. This catcher, maybe. No, not really. You can't really get a scoring threat. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, PC. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really not that easy, you know. Like pe people people get in your way and 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 you know and stop you progressing up the pitch easily, and it's it gets very tricky. Dwarven against good players. Right, he's cut cut the uh, cut the tackle zones on the ball down a bit, but yeah, yeah this, is looking, this is looking fucked. For Wolf Bar, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Eight times out of nine, he gets think, that ball up and then just runs away, and he's good. I think he needed to step that that blitzer over one square to save the square here. Oh, can he can't he kind of blocked his path a little bit. Oh, interesting. So I guess he's not trying to score. I, oh, he is. This one's going. Oh, up. he's still got. He's got a score thread here. So he. Oh, he's gonna have two, maybe. No. no. Doesn't re-roll that though. This is a bit risky, right? But I guess he's got two. Oh no, no the, yeah. this hobble can't score, so he's only got the bull who can score. So he'd have to, he'd have to pow him, and then well, he could still do it, though, right? He can still like one d pow without re-rolls. Hobble recovers, passes to him, and then he dodges five, through and scores. Five yeah. plus four plus. Okay, it's not happening. That's not happening. No. No. You just got to knock down that one score threat, I think, right? Yeah. Oh. Or maybe hit the rest of them. Is it? No. Actually, can that, that catcher can score there, right? Yeah. Yeah, he can score. Yeah. Wait, he, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He is going after, after the ball. And three oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. that. He could have he could have put the hobble in there, in here, and he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the ninth one, and then he could have pushed him back out of range with three dice. I think that was a yep. nice. I think that was a nice uh, play. <laughs> yeah, this is... Easy squirrel, easy, easiest play of your life. 
This is like a relatively easy score for K Fog, isn't it? No assist foul on the garter here. Sent off. <laughs> <laughs> gym foul. Instant gym foul. I didn't like that with two players' cars, but then I guess he's no, trying to randomize that's a, the equity. That's pretty rough. Uh, yeah, just trying to high roll him. Fair enough, isn't it? So you can blitz either. Zero <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's pretty easy. You can, you can clear you can clear him out of the way, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two plus pass. Oh, I forget. I guess you GFI, right? Okay, so he's not putting him out of the way. I'm sure he could have blitzed out of the way. Couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. He could have blitzed him. And then you would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a two plus pass. Surely. Oh, he's going to blitz out with him. He's going to blitz out with him. But I guess the same, same odds at the end of the day. Yep. I know this. this and, no, uh... this. Um, and this is why you needed to put that player out of scoring range. Yeah. That's basically the game. Wolfbark down a ton of players now. Yeah. Yep, I think and, you have to And uh, surely going to be... Yeah, he really did. And surely he's going to be down 2-0 in just a couple turns here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's looking so hard for him, isn't it? Three players out. He's got nine against... Nine, yeah. um, ten. 11? 11? K-Fog's got a reserve. So it's 11, 11 for K-Fog and 9 for Wolfbark. I don't think you dack I don't think you dack it here. I think you just go up and score. Like if you dack it, you're just bringing the ball towards your own end zone and risking something horrible happening. So I mean... Run right up and score. I think you just stole it out because you just batter the fuck out and well, yeah. two more players now. So I don't think you have to. I don't think you have to duck her. I just think you need to just beat him up. Um, Good evening, little wrestlers. What Dak can I do for you? Dakar is basically keeping your whole team here and killing the clock. Like it helps. It helps. It stops you taking um, cars. Is the main thing about it, and like reduces attrition. Also, like it forces the when you're ahead, it forces the opponent to commit to come after you, and then it leaves them, like so much space for you to uh, to move into. But it looks like Kev's going for the quick score. Jim, you need to make a 30 second video to put on YouTube that you can do a DACA command to. Yeah. So we can just always answer that question because it comes up a lot. Yeah. It's That's a not a complaint idea. against uh, Ginger Slayer there, but that question comes up an awful lot. Yeah, that is a good idea. Was the foul the right play? I mean, you can say it was right just because it's hard. Just because it was so hard, like for Wolfbark, you've got to be realistic. Like you know, and I know Rick loves his woo flip me guys who can do a you know we can still win this and stuff. But realistically, you know Wolfbark is probably thinking I'm totally fucked here. If I foul and if I cars, then I might have a tiny chance. <laughs> you know, so like while it's not a good play in a vacuum, um, in the context of the game. Things have gone so badly that you've kind of got to do something stupid. <laughs> and hope it works. <laughs> I would say. Looked, looks like uh, PTK comes from the Winner 3 5 school of thought on how to handle a game like this. Yeah, that's the thing. I think it would have depended on the setup, right? I think. I think. In fairness, what you do in this situation is the pro elves. Is my real answer would have been, you just take what they give you, right? If they, if they if they give you like an easy score, and if the if the kickoff is kind, then you go for it. If if it's not, then it's not. And you don't you you know so like you don't want to put too many players in the LOS in case of a perfect defense and stuff. You want to protect against a blitz. There's no need to like go too too close for it, like too hard for any kind of strategy. Just remain flexible. Oh yeah, certainly. And like you don't, you're not re-rolling anything to get that second score, but you know, you know, against that setup, all you had to do is just run down the field, engage it, go up two nothing. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Come on. 
And yeah. You're you're more likely, I, I in my opinion, with the with the Chorps down players and needing to score twice to not be eliminated, you're more likely to score again as, as the elves yeah. than, than they are because they have to take huge risks and try and score in two to three turns. Yeah, that's true. I had Brett. Oh, I didn't change the title, did I? No, it was Tri versus Chris. I didn't change. Never mind. Can do it halfway through. There you go, he failed. Had to put in the reroll because he had to try, didn't he? That's the, that's another good thing about going for the quick score because they've got to do some stupid move that's probably not going to work. Which, to be fair, it was a four plus. It could have worked, and he had two dice. He could have powered him, and the ball could have gone in the crowd. So you know that wasn't without risk. From uh, K Fog. Yep. <laughs> yes, indeed, Squirrel, yep. Yeah. And now he can blitz oh, yeah, yeah, the shoe hands yeah. hobble and block the other hobble. And it's all of a sudden looking horrendous. <laughs> like it already was horrendous. So like I think that's the thing, right? It's 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 looking so bad for you. Oh he's not even gonna he's not even gonna take the extra hobble here. So I can see I can see the point of the foul. Like there's no point in scoring here because you know. It's so easy Why? to stall. It's like <laughs> you know? an auto stall yeah. at this point. Yeah, you might as well milk the clock until there's any sort of whiff of uh, of uh, of uh, protest by the chorus. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's not the break tackle one. The break tackle one's the dead one. So yeah, there was a six plus dodge in. Yeah. Right, fair enough. You're just full of the random statements today, aren't you, Enbury? <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I know that everything on, on Reddit is true, so that's valuable insight, thank you. Oh, God. Wolf Bark's just like, end the fucking game, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it, in here? You're so inept as dwarves with your little movement for shitters and they're dancing around you and you want to be part of team positive, you then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. But you've got to make the best like moves that you can to and try and play better, eh? do something. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Well, speaking of two turns, big raid coming in from Inarian. Glorious. Thank you very much, Inarian. Welcome to Elf, Elf, Elf. K Fog, the legend, out bashing Wolfbark with chops. <laughs> <laughs> Two Kazna send off versus a KO. A KO. <laughs> Does K Fog still have his Zappo? Or he, did no? He, he just used, used it. it. Didn't he? Yeah, he just used it. Yeah. That's why he's got the reserve. <laughs> he tried to walk. Is this our last game before a break? Yeah, yeah. There's a break. There's a break now. Yeah. Um, and then um, I think we're on on my channel again at cool. 1800 UTC I think and then I think you know the grand final will be on Blitzpit I think yeah I don't a, uh, a must win SFL game <laughs> against uh, uh, Volva Inspector there and no. his uh, Amazons I gotta win it. I gotta win it to have a chance at making playoffs and try and maybe even block Gdanik out of playoffs. Gdanik uh, threatening to become a two-time SFL winner. Oh man! I know, and I have Gdanik. If I win this game and I play Gdanik, there's a very good chance if I win, if I beat Gdanik, he won't make the playoffs. So I control my own destiny. No. All you have to do uh, is... Yeah, from time to time. It doesn't get talked about a lot, Bokejo, but you might not know it. <laughs> I am a two-time SFL winner, the only two-time SFL winner in uh, SFL history. Do you know what? You know when you made your wrestler, the way he was holding two fingers up to the camera, was that because he was the winner three? Win no, I was doing the two-finger salute, but that also works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> calcium. My calcium alarm has gone off again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Oh, that is tempting. 
I mean, that's the thing is I would much rather VI make the playoffs than uh, than than Nick. Uh, Tom, I don't know how your team's doing. I haven't looked at all. Tom could also become a two-time winner. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, which I, I I'd be a, I'd be a little bit better with. I think I'd be a little bit more accepting of Tom in the uh, you know in in the Olympus of SFL history. <laughs> I think he would be respectful of our mutual place, whereas I think Gdanik would not. <laughs> oh, dear me. That's a good question from uh, Paul. I beat Calcium in my second one. Oh, really? Calcium in the second one. I actually don't remember who I beat in the first one. <laughs> oh, wow, JF. So looking good for Trififific. <laughs> oh, I beat Bolt. Okay, fair enough, yeah. I guess playing the odds. <laughs> uh, it was... It, we did in our... Jim Locker dogged his way into a win. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the dial game when it could have... That could have easily been a 1-0 loss. Well, it was more like a 0-0, most likely, against Dio. This could have actually easily been a 1-0 loss. But, um, it was a 1-0 win. The Locker dogged it. Shouldn't it, J5? Well, Volk, I'm pretty humble. You know, I, there's no there's no point in braggadocio, you know? Like, you don't need me to tell you how good I am at Blood Bowl and how dominant I've been in the SFL. <laughs> we don't need you to, but you do it anyway. All the fucking time. <laughs> Oh, it's great. It's great that that's your thing. <laughs> I'm just trying to get more people to want to play in the SFL, man. Yeah. You almost and what better way to better. motivate someone to play the SFL than uh, to want to punch me in the face? Uh, PC, I believe that's you. I know it's easy to mistake because you just ripped off Jimmy's team and you play the same team, but I believe you're the one who's undefeated in the BBSL right now. He's won every match, in fact. Not just undefeated. There's three people undefeated in the BBSL. Um, there is uh, Kano, and, Kano and Rick are both undefeated. In group A. No one in the history of sports has been has considered being undefeated with draws relevant to anything. Yes, they have. No one in America That's has. But in, that's crazy. In England, that's because we don't have draws. Yeah, in England, it's <laughs> none a of our sports deal. have time. Arsenal were the invincibles, weren't they? Because they ne they never lost in like thirty eight games, um, and that include draws. They they were undefeated because. Asking to win 38 games in the Premier League season is insane. Like, like asking to go undefeated was in, like them going undefeated was hey, incredible. Hey, hey, I know, I know all about it, man. Go winning 16 games in a row to be undefeated for a regular season and then win some playoff games too. <laughs> the greatest a moment in uh, sports history: the New England Patriots, 2007, Tom Brady. And it's just weird that they were like, "This team's too dominant. We don't need to have a Super Bowl this year." <laughs> and uh, and they went, yeah, they they oh, they, they went right through undefeated, ended the season. Yeah, I've, yeah, didn't I should have got rid of the BBSL. Thanks for somebody for mentioning the BBSL logo after after like all this time. <laughs> this is the second game we've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I need this half and half. I need it like. Stacked on we top. We can just be the, the the lit the lit pie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the lit pie. How did no one mention that? <laughs> Damn Took you! Care all. of is a pretty confident way to say. Eighteen holds on the line of scrimmage didn't get called for one dude to have a helmet <laughs> stick to his or have a football stick to another guy's helmet miraculously, but. 
took care of that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they sure did. <laughs> thank you, Hellboy, for telling us. Yeah, no one else, no one else noticed. But all right, Team Antel. Well, no one else, you know, told us. So thank you. There's the pass. I can't see it, so I'm off the hook. Yeah, I should. I should just share my OBS in the future. Because I didn't realize you didn't see all of the shit around the side, you know. And then you could see. Then you could see ch chat as well. See. See, look, if I. Uh... Yeah, but I have I have chat up on my own, so. Yeah, but it'd still be like kind of easier. Like you could you could see when people did the uh, did the commands, you know, you'd see straight away. Mm. And like subs and that, you know, so because you you've seen all them on delay, aren't you? No, I'm not because I have. Um... Oh yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I guess technically I am. Yeah. So so if I just did OBS, you would see. Yeah, maybe I should do OBS in future. Well, the, uh, well, the only thing is the quality of the stream is not ideal all the time, right. so I wouldn't like the text would be pretty hard to read sometimes. I bet. Right. Right. Well. Fair enough. And I need to have the chat window open anyway in case I need to, you know, ever do important important stuff like uh, on my face. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, hello, Kill. I will try to play in future Blitz Pits, but uh, it's not easy to qualify. Like, it's it's really not easy to win four games in a row versus, you know, people who mostly know how to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> like, if not all of them, like, you know, there might be, like, they're open qualifiers, right? So there might be somebody terrible, you know, they're free to join. But mostly people who try to qualify for Blitz Pit are pretty good. And trying to win even three in a row, it's, it's really hard. It is really hard to qualify. So hats off to everyone who managed to qualify. So uh, Wolf could just concede right now and call it a day. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's could, yeah. literally no point in playing this game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he might as well. I guess one more turn needs to tick off before you officially don't do that, but... Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. He could, yeah, he could two turn. <laughs> he could two turn, then uh, then blitz and score and turn 15, then get a blitz and, or a riot and score and turn 16. So, yeah. Frankly, I don't see how he can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's even going for the one turn. He's going for the bull one turn here. Oh, dear. Yeah. I mean... He could just he could just concede. Like it's fine. No one's gonna care if he concedes at this point. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Come on guys, all we have to do is score the one turn on the bull centaur um, and get riots or blitzers. It's totally doable. Woo! <laughs> he tried for it. He played to his outs. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can just concede. Yeah, just concede. Come on. Come on. Be a man, concede. <laughs> We're not rebel. We we won't hate you forever if you concede. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there was any path there to a one turn. No, it was. It, there was. It was just hard. Like probably, maybe it's not possible with how many players he had. But uh, like he's like a movement seven, isn't he? The ball, so he, he could he could have done it if he, yeah, technically. Uh, he's a movement nine, Jim. He's move seven because he can go nine total, right? I, I, yeah, no, I, I, I know. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> Drunk Elk made that mistake. <laughs> he thought he would. He only needed. No, to, no, 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 no. He no. thought he could score from here. He's like, he could just bang it in. He's movement nine. <laughs> <laughs> It's just people people frequently treat bulls like they are actually movement nine just because they will always make their GFIs with them. Yes. Anari and Rick has a responsibility to the vast population of the Blood Bowl community uh, to not stream Blood Bowl 3 because he has the biggest audience. It's the most risk of eye strain uh, <laughs> if he streams it. We need we need to, you know, really relax people a little bit here and just not stream it. <laughs> um, yeah, to, uh, to be honest, I, I, I do believe Cyanide have written to, written to Rick and asked him, don't let anyone see it. 
It's terrible. Oh, I was going to ask, actually. <laughs> Anarian, Anarian makes a good point. You had mentioned you were going to try it with a gamepad to see if that helped at all. Did you end up trying that, Jim? Yeah, yeah, I've had to use both. I've had to use both to play it. <laughs> In conjunction? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, that, that's Fucking... how, that's oh, how fucked it is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anarian's using both. <laughs> wow. Wow, that that's horrific. <laughs> like I mean, I guess that makes sense because like it's d clearly designed to be a Switch game, so like controllers and like touch screen or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, that is your reaction when you when you load up Blood Bowl three. Yeah, well, not when you load it up. When you load up, you think, <laughs> oh, this could be okay. But when you load into the game, your reaction is, let make it stop. <laughs> Well, it's funny because I my first reaction when I saw it, I was like, I, I was very overwhelmed by the the new menus. Because fair enough, it's totally different. But they are the menu system isn't awful; it's just slow as shit. But the color choices were horrible. Like every color is just like like I don't know what color theory they were applying to their design, but it's terrible. But then I saw how all of the the only settings they put in the graphics at all are. For color blindness, I'm like, oh, that makes perfect sense. Everyone who made this game is colorblind. <laughs> okay, they they accounted for they they accounted for the the difficulties they have with color. Fair enough. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, they don't like the icons, the skill icons, everything is just horrible. I do I, I do like purple and orange as a color combo. Like those colors do go together. They're quite nice. But not the shades they picked. <laughs> oh, it, you, you'll be able to tell me this, Scooter. I'm sure. What are the, what are the, what are the colours called when they look like they're moving when they're on the when they're on the same when they're next to each other, like light blue and orange. When they look like they're moving. Yeah, they're, they're like they're not contrasting. There's, there's another word like it's something, and they like they like. Moiré? I don't know. Is it moiré? M-O-I-R-E? That's like, moiré is like when you look at like someone who's wearing like a suit, right? Like a patterned suit in a photo and it looks like it's shimmering in the photo. That's called moiré because like the camera sensors can't designate those colors well and it, and it looks all like shimmery and ugly. <laughs> um, no, this is, uh, no, I don't think it's that. I don't know. Um... Oh, I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll, I'll Google it. <laughs> right, anyway, in the midst of all that, uh, Hello Neutral AI, and yeah, it hasn't really been close. No, it hasn't been close. Um, k yeah. just beat the shit out of Wolfbark. And uh, yeah, and, you know, he played well, but he also got rid of good dice, didn't he? <laughs> You're not allowed to mention that, Fermia. <laughs> I mean, you're more than you're. No, you are allowed to mention it. It's just like again, it's the equivalent of mentioning that, like, you before you go to a museum, you smear shit all over your eyes to try and take in art the way you think art's meant to be taken in. Like that's that's that that's basically what I hear when people try and drop that meme. <laughs> it is more. Eh? Okay, yeah. Is it? Oh, equilument. Hey man, I, I, equilument. You look at that's look, it. Equilument. I've never heard of that phrase in my life. When our eyes encounter colors that are equiluminant, we have a hard time assigning them position, so the color tends to vibrate or move slightly. So there you go. A great. I challenge anyone to look at the actual. Sorry, a great example of this is Richard Anujevitz's something painting plus reversed. There you go. That's it. I've never, I've never heard that phrase before. I have heard of moire, and like, yeah, like Volk, like like Volk's uh, example there. Yeah, team man, I think you should look long and hard at the the roster of coaches that play in the SFL before you really uh, try and discredit how how tough a competition it can be in there. I mean, we might not take the games that seriously, but it's a lot of good coaches. 
Ah, yeah, that's the, that's the pattern. The moire. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that has the same kind of effect. Yeah, I see what you mean with that, yeah. yeah. It can really ruin, like, it's really rough for, like, wedding photography and stuff because everyone wears, you know, like, silk suits and stuff or whatever. And uh, yeah. they all look like shit in the photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't. He didn't pass it over the catcher to give to give uh, K Fog the intercept. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that was um, three quarters of a game of Blood Bowl, and then a quarter of a game of people refusing to concede and save us all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, <laughs> half a game of Blood Bowl, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's about half a game. Yeah, almost once it was one nil yeah. down. It was pretty much over, wasn't it? Really, to be honest, that was yeah. that was uh, that was rough, wasn't it? I think I think we should have blitzed the scoring threat, but you know, and yeah, I think I think. Yeah. Hello, little dice lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's silly. The game, the game. We had a good chat, though. That's why I think that's why Wolf didn't concede it. Ah, right. we were just having and having fun Fair enough to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty silly. Yeah, that's fair. It was yeah, it was pretty it was pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I think it. I think I got so just zero zero as well instead of trying the one dice. Go for the gold. I agree with you guys. It seemed it seemed a bit um, a bit much going for the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. With how the play players were laying out. Yeah. Oh well. Well, there you go. That's um, you know. That was congrats. a game of some kind. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that Sometimes was. Sometimes blood bowl is that. Yeah. It's just. It's gonna happen, isn't it? And especially like when, like you know, it maybe if maybe if someone who was terrible had those dice against Wolfbark, he could have still won. But uh, when 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 the dice go like that against you. Um, it's, this happens. <laughs> uh, so it does look like before you, before you close this one out, it does look like we might be getting overtime here. Um, and DM Lord try DM Lord about to. Looks like he's got a successful stall out. I don't see any undead on the pitch. Uh oh. Wow. There's four undead on the pitch. Five undead on the pitch <laughs> right now. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to check out Blitzpit on YouTube to watch that, probably. And, um, Sorry. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Congratulations, PTK. Commiserations, Wolfpack. Thank you for the commentary, Skuron, for joining us, Kvog. Um Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.